Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to be covering a couple of things to do with dimensions, measures, and discrete and continuous variables. Uh, so let's start off with the dimensions and measures. You can tell that we have two different shelves within our visualization here on the left-hand side, one with our dimensions, one with the measures in it. Uh, the way to think of them differently is that dimensions, dimensions rather, are the way that I would want to slice my data. So dimension is the bucket I'm going to look at, the buckets I'm going to compare, whereas the measures is what I'm going to fill the bucket with to try and compare it. So if we wanted uh, to think of dimensions, it's things like product category, right? Here we have three different buckets, and within those buckets, we can look at something like the sum of sales, and that's going to give us what fills those buckets, and, we, and that we can compare the two of them. We can compare the, uh, the buckets and what fills them. Now, let's flip that around a little bit and talk about what the difference between a continuous and a discrete measure is. Now, the buckets are discrete, right? Because we have one item, furniture, office supplies, and technology. We don't have some thing that is halfway between furniture and office supplies and something else that's maybe a third of the way between the two. We just have the individual categories. Now, with something like sales, it's continuous. That's a number. It can be any value that we want it to be, and we're going to sum it up. It could be any numerical value at all. There's no distinct category that sales fits into as a number. Now, these are a bit fluid because we can perhaps convert something like a product into a discrete measure. Here we'll say, and then what we'll do, we could do like a count or a count of the distinct product names. And we could take that and we could put it next to our sum of sales and we would have something that is continuous but based on a count of something that is discrete. Now in some cases we have things like the order date um, or date fields in particular. Now this is a discrete date field. Here we have buckets but we could also turn a date field to be continuous by setting it to be perhaps a day. And in this case, we have a continuous date. Um, and if we added something like sales to that, then we could get some interesting visualizations. But again, this, this field is continuous. It's taking on any value between any, its maximum and its minimum. Any value is, is legitimate. Whereas with a discrete item, if we can change this to discrete just like that, here we can see we have the sum of sales, but only bucketed, as it were, by day. These are our buckets. Um, so that is a little bit about the difference between discrete and continuous, and a bit about the difference between dimensions and measures. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you would like to download the data to follow along with this video, you can do so from the video description. And if you like what you're hearing and you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel, Tableau in two minutes, and we hope to see you next time.